First look at the October build of Pixel 4 XL port based on Android 11 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at the Pixel 4 XL ROM port based on Android 11 the October build running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. As you can see, the security patch is from October 5th, 2020, and the kernel they are using is Genos kernel version 8.1, and of course, this is the build by OOF Gang. In case you want to know how to install this build, I do have a separate video which can be found in the pinned comment of this video. Next up, we can talk about the things which have been fixed. So yes, hotspot has been fixed on this build, and Volt and voice over Wi-Fi work absolutely fine. The bugs in this build are you do not get wide wine L1 unfortunately and the reason for that is that the screen recorder which is baked in with Android 11 which does let you record device audio and microphone at the same time works perfectly fine on this build now and it works without any lags. So here it is you can see screen recorder is working in the background and there is no lag in the ui so that is the reason why they had to switch from l1 to l3 another bug in this build is that ok google does not work and the build also has some playback issues with music and youtube now the workaround for youtube playback jitters and lags is that when you set up your device skip the google assistant setup that's it you all you have to do is skip the setup and everything will work absolutely fine it has been personally tested by me and as you can see you also have google assistant 2.0 working like a boss see even the lady feels good when you call her the boss fact of life anyways those things out of the way First thing I would recommend you do when you install this build is update your applications from the Play Store and as you can see we do have Pixel Launcher. Everything is super fine, super fast, super smooth. And let us try to select some text. Here it is. Select works absolutely fine. No issues at all. And you can also take a screenshot. Screenshot taken. Tap on share. Quick share menu in the building. Press and hold any application and you can pin it to your quick share menu. Next up, we can have a look at the volume panel. There it is. This is how your volume panel looks like. You do have a button on top to switch between the ringer modes and the button this one is to turn on and off live caption. Then we can have a look at the zoom effect. So there it is. Zoom and blur effect works absolutely fine as well when you access your notification shade. Other than that, you also have the Android 11 Easter egg cats game working absolutely fine along with bubbles so yes i am using the bubbles feature right now next up we can have a look at the other quick setting tiles which you get so these are your different options tap on edit and you can add the ones which you see on your screen right now and while we are on the home screen priority notifications also work absolutely fine so i can set this notification as a priority in case you want to see your notification history tap on the history option and bam there it is notification history working absolutely fine next up we can go into settings and network and internet tap on your wi-fi tap on it one more time you have the option to disconnect tap on advanced and you can choose to auto connect to your wi-fi on a per wi-fi basis then we can go into battery so you have battery saver adaptive battery and the option to see your battery percentage all these features are working absolutely fine moving over to apps and notifications let us say you select the phone application, go into permissions and as you can see, you have a toggle to remove the permissions if the app isn't used for quite some time. Then if you say tap on location, you have four different options. So allow all the time, allow only while using the application, ask every time and deny. So these are new features which have been added with Android 11 and back on the home page of apps and notifications we already discussed about priority notifications and similarly you have notification history and of course bubbles is working absolutely fine there it is you can see that i can dismiss the bubble 
do on bubble conversation and i can also go into android or easter egg settings going back into settings we can now jump over to display so you do have the option of dark theme and with android 11 you can configure your dark theme to turn on and off at a specific time with android 10 you only had the option of sunset to sunrise so this new option of a specific time has been added with android 11 you have night light adaptive brightness as you can see works absolutely fine then go into wallpaper and these are your different options now here's a small trick for you let us go back into settings apps and notification go into styles and wallpapers three dot menu on the top right and say uninstall updates select ok once this is done we can go back into the wallpaper option and bam there it is you can now theme your android 11 and also choose a live wallpaper in case you want to using the wallpaper tab so going back into style going to custom these are the different fonts which are available these are the different icons which you have you can choose your accent colors let us try green tap on next icon shapes these are your different options for the icon shapes let us choose the teardrop one next give it a custom name select apply bam there it is style was applied successfully green accent color with the teardrop icons working absolutely fine moving back into display we can go into advanced you have screen timeout screen attention is broken it doesn't work on this build then you can change the font size display size going into lock screen you can enable now playing but it does not work so i just recommend that you keep it turned off then wake for notifications does work absolutely fine double tap to wake i think is a hit and miss and it does not work on specific devices or there's an issue but i think the developers are working on fixing that issue then we can go into sound so in sound you do have do not disturb and this is the do not disturb of course from android 11 which can be configured on people bases app bases and alarm bases as well live caption works absolutely fine we are going to test it later in this video and these are the other options which you get with sound moving over to security unfortunately you do not have face unlock on this build because this is a GSI port from the Pixel 4 XL, so do not expect face unlock to work. The fingerprint scanner and the pin and password do work absolutely fine. Going into system, you can now go into gestures and of course the quick gestures are not going to work because they use the Soli radar on the Pixel 4 XL. Everybody knows with the Pixel 5 Google ditched that as well, but you do have system navigation, two different options, either three button or the gesture navigation and with gesture navigation you can configure the sensitivity of the left and right edge and of course device controls this is what helps us with the android 11 easter egg and we can catch different cats now those of you who do not like the notch and would like to hide that the first thing you would need to do is enable developer options so you'll go into about phone and then you can scroll down tap on the build number seven times you're now a developer and then we can go back Go into system, advanced, developer options, here it is. In developer options, you have the option of wireless debugging, something which was added with Android 11. Scroll down, you also have the option of show refresh rate, here it is. On the top left of the screen, you will see the 60 appear and disappear. So this is your refresh rate. Scroll down a bit more and you should have the option of hiding the notch, here it is display cut out so right now the option is set as device default let us hide it and bam there it is the ui should shift down a little it is a bit slow and let us wait there it is works absolutely fine with no issues to report next up we can check for safety net so out of the box safety net will not pass but once you root your device and you enable magisk hide you should be able to pass safety net which means you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues now in case you want to know how to root your android 11 device i do have a separate video for that as well which can again be found in the description of this video next up we can check for youtube and as i mentioned earlier make sure you do skip the setup for google assistant when you set up your device for the first time because otherwise you are going to have some lags 
Now before I play let me reduce the volume so that I do not get a copyright strike but here it is a scene from the movie matrix and as you can see it is playing absolutely fine there are no jitters no lags and this is as long as you use the workaround which I have told you about two times in this video already here it is one more time make sure you skip the Google Assistant during initial setup and as you can see live caption also works absolutely fine next up we can go to our home screen and see if picture in picture works so all right I do have a notification and it is telling me that picture in picture is unavailable for music so that is the reason picture in picture is not working we can try playing some other clip so let me try this Starcraft video and let us try to go to our home screen yes there it is you can see picture in picture is working absolutely fine you can of course drag it and with android 11 you can resize this window as well so no issues to report with picture in picture either next up we can check for bluetooth music and there it is on your screen right now bluetooth music is working absolutely fine with no jitters no lags you can of course switch the output as well in case you want to and those media controls in the quick settings panel I am a big fan of those however your opinion might be different than mine next up we can have a look at the animations gestures lags there it is everything is super fast here is my google feed no lags no jitters nothing like that the gestures are working absolutely fine there is it is one more time no issues at all you can switch between the different applications in case you want to so all in all a pretty good build and in case you want to have the feel that you are using a pixel device this is a must try build and of course you do get other pixel apps baked in as well so you have the voice recorder safety app pixel tips google photos all of these apps are baked in and they do update when you update your applications from the google play store so there it is peeps that was our first look at the october build of pixel 4 excel port based on android 11 running on the xiaomi poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you